Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So what you see before you now is Valheim working great on an Apple Silicon Mac. And no, this is not an official port from Iron Gate. This is in fact the work of a tinkerer called Tim Curvers, who's managed to port the Windows version of the game onto a Mac compatible version of Unity. And honestly, this work is amazing, especially considering that this has been one of the most requested titles to get working on an Apple Silicon Mac. In fact, if you look on the Steam discussions forum, there is a 72 page thread basically begging IronGate to port this to Mac. And whilst IronGate seems to have expressed interest in bringing it to the Mac platform, development seems to have dragged out for many years now. This is all despite the fact that Unity is a cross-platform game engine, and it's actually relatively straightforward if you're the developer of these games to actually port them to Mac, unless there are Windows specific dependencies that you rely on that aren't on the Mac platform. However, it looks like it is possible to get Valve I'm working on a Mac. Just be aware that if you follow the instructions that I'm going to show you in this tutorial video, that this is a custom build. You're going to receive no support from IronGate. In fact, you risk your Valheim account using this particular build of the game as it's completely unofficial. But anyway, it looks like this is probably the ultimate way to play this game. You can run the Windows version through something like Crossover or Parallels. However, the performance leaves a lot to be desired. So really this unofficial port of Valheim on Mac is the best way to play it on Apple Silicon hardware. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get this all set up on your Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So what we're going to do is go to this GitHub page, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And once we're here, what we want to do is to scroll down and then follow the instructions written on the bottom of this list here. So what we're going to do is to clone the repository of this GitHub page. So we need to go to the top right hand side of the screen and click the spotlight icon. And then what we're going to do is to type in the word terminal to open up our terminal. So select the top line here. So we have our terminal window here on the right. What we're going to do is just select this line, control click on here, press copy, and then we're going to control click and paste this line into the terminal window and then press return. If we have this issue here where we don't have command line tools installed, all you need to do is to type in this particular code here, which is xcode dash select space dash dash install, and then you're going to install command line tools, press install now. Then we press the agree button, and then it's going to go ahead and download and install command line tools. So once that's installed, we just need to go ahead, press up twice again, and then we're going to git clone this line again. So we're going to go ahead and press return. And now what that's doing is to clone that GitHub source code. So now that that's done, we need to change directory to go into that file. So within terminal, we want to go into that folder. So we're going to press CD, which is change directory space, and then type in the name of this particular project, Valheim macOS. And then we just press the return button. And you can see here we've entered Valheim macOS as a folder. So now what we're going to do is to initiate this build.sh. So we're going to go ahead and select this and then copy. And then we're going to go in here and then paste this into the blank space and then press return. Here it's asking us if we're sure we want to download Valheim from Steam. Press Y and then return. We're going to download Depot Downloader. So this is a tool which is going to allow us to download the Windows version of the game, which is not available to the macOS clients. So now we're going to press Y and then press return. And then what we want to do is to enter our Steam username. So enter my username now and press return. And then we need to enter our account password, which we're going to enter now and then press return. And it's saying it's connecting to Steam, we're logging into Steam. And then we need to enter our two-factor authentication, which we're going to do on my phone. So I've entered two-factor authentication and now it's downloading the whole game. So now that we've downloaded the Valheim files, it's asking us whether we want to download Unity as well, press Y and then return. So if for whatever reason the connection resets, you can just go ahead and run that script again. And now that we've downloaded Unity, it's asking us to download steamworks.net from GitHub. We're going to press Y and then return. And then this is going to download that. Now it's asking us to download Playfab Party, press Y and return. So now that the script has completed without any error messages, this has finished. So just be aware that if new versions of Valheim are released, then you'll basically need to run this script again. And you'll also need to wait for build.sh to be updated by Tim Curvers in order for the correct version of Valheim to actually update. The main change is that the build ID needs to be updated to the latest version in order for the correct build to be downloaded by the build.sh script. 
So what we can do is put this Valheim application into the applications folder. So the next thing that we need to do is make sure that we're logged into Steam. So this is the Mac version of Steam and this account has to have a Valheim license. Despite the fact that the Windows version of the game cannot run, we need to have a logged in session. Without it, Valheim will crash when you double click on it. But since we have Steam running in the background, this is now gonna work. So just double click. And we've now logged into the current version of Valheim. You can see here that this is an Intel application but it's all working correctly through Rosetta 2 on the Apple Silicon Mac. So to full screen this, all you gotta do is to click the green button on the top left hand side of the window, and then it's gonna form a full screen. And then we can easily go ahead and start a game. Here I'm gonna create a new character, and then we're gonna go ahead and enter the world. So just be aware that generating and entering worlds might take a little bit of time. You just have to be patient and you'll be able to connect up. So it might take a few minutes to actually enter the world, but eventually you'll get there. So as far as I can tell, the performance of this game is actually really good. So I'm running this on the M1 Max chip and we're using the function F2 key to bring up the performance data. And you can actually see that this is actually running very, very nicely. If I do a little bit of combat, the actual frame rate is running at around 70, 80 FPS. This is in windowed mode. If I go to graphic settings, I can show you that we're basically in medium settings with all of the fancy graphics turned off, but can easily run with all of these turned on with minimal kind of performance impact. I'm also gonna set this to full screen so you can see this running on higher resolution. I'm gonna put this up to 1080p. And it looks very nice and sharp. So as you can see, frame rate about 80, 90 FPS at this beginning stage. So now a big thanks to Tim Curvers for discovering that this can be played on Apple Silicon Macs and doing all of the porting work to get it working on Mac Unity. If you have any issues with the game, then Tim Curvers is active on the Apple Gaming Wiki Discord. So please check out the support channel on the Discord. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.